Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we're doing my glam powder foundation routine. So let's hop to it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just having a little snacky snack. I am addicted to these popcorners. <laughs> anyway, so I'm starting with my Fenty Beauty Primer. And I'm loving this primer as well, you guys. I had such good luck with makeup this uh, couple of months. So I gave my Hydro Grip a rest because I'm loving the Fenty one for now. Then I'm going to do some color correcting. I'm using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade G Deep Chestnut. And I'm going to apply that in areas where I have hyperpigmentation and discoloration. This is going to help me to cancel out all the discoloration and give me more of an even base to work with. <clears throat> and I'm pressing that in. I'm doing it in layers. I'm going a little at a time and building that up. That's the key to this makeup look. And here I'm just spot concealing some more. This concealer is amazing. I haven't put it down or used another concealer since I purchased this. I have it in like four different shades. I love it. So I'm blending out. Making sure everything is smooth and even. Now that I've covered up all the discoloration, I'm using one pump of this L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. I've mentioned how much I love this foundation. And I'm going to pump that in my skin and I'm not going to put it where I place the concealer underneath my eyes. I find that this technique works well for my skin and I'm using less product, doing layers, light layers, and I'm getting a nice full coverage look that doesn't end up looking cakey in the end, which is what I strive for. So I'm just pouncing that in to get that even layer. I only went in with one pump of that foundation. Now I'm going to highlight. I'm using um, another e.l.f. concealer. I'm using it in tan sand. And I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose. Here I'm just using my fan so it can get a bit tacky for less than 30 seconds. Because I find that this concealer tends to dry very fast. So I like working with my concealer when it's tacky, but I can't let that one get tacky for too long. And I'm going to blend out underneath my eyes with the sponge. And I'm going to blend my nose and what's left on the sponge after I've blended everywhere. I'm going to tap that on my forehead and my chin. I don't want too much product on my chin and my forehead because my chin tends to break down faster because it's most oily on my face. Then I'm using that damn sponge and my MAC NC40 powder foundation. And I'm going to set the areas where I place the concealers first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use a sponge and this does makes everything very, very smooth. And I'm using that same sponge with another powder foundation in NC42. And I'm going to press that everywhere I placed the foundation as well. Press it and melt it into my skin. This foundation, our powder foundation is beautiful. <laughs> then i'm using huda beauty and fenty beauty i love these powders so much i'm like i need the best they're so great so mixing them i'm getting the best of both worlds so i'm gonna bake underneath my eyes with um a powder puff as what i'm using here and my chin and nose everywhere um sorry i lost the clip for that but i basically went in with shayla perception palette and i used revenge and um revenge and played out sorry thick and played out in my crease and i'm just blending those two together so we have a nice transition sorry i lost the clip for that so that's what i'm doing here then i went in with the proceed with caution palette and the color dead end it's a gold i'm gonna apply that on my lids and bring it all the way to my crease as if to create a cut crease but not really a cut crease kind of sort of I'm just using the shadows to do it instead of like actually mapping it out with um, concealer. And I'm using a very small shadow brush for that because I want to get very precise with the shadows. And it just tends to pack the pigment on really well. Then I'm using this Dose of Colors KT and Desi Frankation palette. And this palette is amazing. I know why I took so long to try it. And I went in with the color. Hmm, what's the color? just a kiss it's a beaut listen to me you all not seen the beauty of this color 
on camera it's a beautiful go with some iridescence so i applied it with a brush first and then i went in my finger because i felt like it picked up most of the pigment and it's just really really beautiful in person this palette is amazing here i'm just dusting off the bake <clears throat> and then i'm gonna go in with the dose of colors palette again and i'm using the color the colors on the back and it's just pissing me off the turn to look at it the color cheers it's a deep brown and they're very very pigmented a little goes a long way make sure you tap the excess off here i'm just blending and buffing so that we have no harsh lines and that i can smoke the bottom out a little bit more because i like a smoky under eyes i added a wing and some water um black gel liner in my waterline and i use this brush this scott barnes brush that he recommended it's a game changer i use that to smoke out the bottom lash and to add some more depth into my crease and i contoured with rihanna um fenty beauty um stalker bronzer in coconutty and here i'm just using a very flimsy smaller brush and i'm just gonna add a little more definition like contour my face with the black radiance contour palette in medium dark this is my favorite blush my favorite blush for the summer i'm using those two colors i showed you it's a sleek blush palette it's gorgeous it's awesome amazing and i'm just applying that above my contour can't forget the nose i have to make my nose look like i had a nose job yep and my addiction my addiction coming through <laughs> comment down below if you love pop corners <laughs> now i'm gonna set all these powders in place with my morphe continuous setting spray it's one of my favorite setting spray of all time and dry that in place with my fan and I'm going to apply some highlight to the tops of my cheek. I'm using the Maybelline Rose Gold Highlight. I've been loving this one lately. I'm going to apply some on my nose, my chin, and my Cupid's bow. Of course, you can't forget the brows. The Got To Be Brow um, Gel. It's not a brow gel, but I use it for my brows. It works perfectly. Added some Kiss Lashes. And now I'm, uh, my lips, I'm using BFF3 lip liner first. I'm going to fill in my lips partially with that. And then I'm going in with my favorite, favorite brown lip liner. I'm lipstick at the moment. It's from L'Oreal's Signature Collection. It's I Explore. It's a beautiful color, perfect for anyone in my complexion. And I'm just going over the edges with the BFF4 to create a nicer ombre to give more of this 90s grungy look. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I love this lip. It's my favorite, favorite go-to brown lip. I've been looking for a lip like that forever. So yeah, I got my hair braided in this full locks and I'm loving it. And so I'm just showing you how I maintain it. So I'm applying some OXG uh, dry oil in my roots to keep my roots moisturized because it could be drying then i'm using some mousse i hate tags price tags on my products or any products as a pet peeve of mine so i have to remove it because i wouldn't sleep <laughs> i'm just applying that in the area where i section so i can keep any flyaways down and this mousse smells so good you guys so so good then i'm trying to get this baby hairs laid i'm not a baby hair girl i don't care much about the baby hairs but you know then i'm gonna apply some Cantu sheen spray i've been using that sheen spray forever it smells so good too and to keep uh, you know the moisture in my hair to keep it sh uh, shiny and looking good so um hi my name is rachel if you're new here thank you so much for watching please subscribe hit the bell like comment share all the good stuff it really helps and i really appreciate it everything i use will be in the description box so thank you so much for watching let's continue to touch the world one piece at a time and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday <laughs> bye guys <laughs>